Bonjour, hi. Welcome back to another Coffee Talk. For those of you who are not familiar with Coffee Talks, it's a series and a podcast I have where every Friday I sit down with a cup of coffee. I sip on it while I talk about different topics that have been on my mind for the past week. And this week is no exception. That is right. You heard correctly. I have failed to mention this in the past Coffee Talks, but for the past uh, month, ever since the beginning of January, I believe, um, the Coffee Talks have been available in the audio format for all of my podcast lovers. Um, it was just, it was just natural for me to convert those into just simply audio because I already have the audio, so I just now had to take off the video part of it. Um, so for everyone who prefers podcasts know that if you would like to listen to the coffee talks uh, rather than watching them on youtube you can do so on spotify and apple podcast as of now um and ever since the beginning of january so thank you for everyone who's tuning in every single week whether you're a watcher or a listener i am grateful for you But obviously, and as always, this is not the topic of today's coffee talk. Today, we are talking about being single on Valentine's Day. Oh yeah. Whether I like it or not, it seems that um, the coffee talks that are the most relevant and the most interesting revolve around dating, and today is no exception because Valentine's Day is approaching momentarily, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I used to... I wouldn't say hate, but I used to dislike Valentine's Day because for my entire life, except for one year, I have been celebrating Valentine's Day as a single person. And it always made me feel pathetic and bad and ashamed. But you know what? Ever since the past couple of years, I have been enjoying Valentine's Day so much. And this is what I'm going to be talking about today. How you can actually just enjoy Valentine's Day, whether you're in a relationship, you're single, in a situationship, if it's unclear, if you don't know, there's still a way for you to enjoy this holiday and to celebrate love that surrounds you, no matter what that type of love might look or feel like. I've talked about wanting to romanticize my life um, during the upcoming year, and this is actually the perfect opportunity to do just that. Valentine's Day to me is the ultimate holiday to really practice self-love and as cheesy as it may sound I truly believe that and that is how I've been enjoying Valentine's Day for the past couple of years. I've been just planning dates with myself a few days prior to Valentine's Day or even a few days after or even for the whole month of February because it's the month of love Um, and it's just it always felt so nice and i know it sounds pretty lonely to plan dates with yourself but honestly it is the best form of self-love and i wouldn't have it any other way this year and don't get me wrong i know it can be pretty scary to go out there by yourself and go grab yourself some flowers grab yourself some coffee go and have brunch by yourself but just do it do it and you'll see that it's not so bad it's, it's actually quite enjoyable. And personally, I like to go for brunch by myself and I like to journal and read or just eavesdrop on people's conversation and, and know everything about their ex and their best friends. And I don't know, I'm, I might be a little bit nosy. So that might be part of the reason why I enjoy doing that by myself. But for so many years, I didn't, I didn't have the courage to do just that because I didn't want to feel lonely. But... Loneliness is not to be confused with solitude. A lot of people confuse them. And it's not because you're doing something by yourself that you're lonely. You're just alone, but not lonely, you know? And I intend to talk about this specifically in a future coffee talk. But for today, we're talking about Valentine's Day and self-love and just love around you as well. If you don't necessarily want to do something alone, you can plan yourself a Valentine's Day with your friends or with your family. You can even plan something with your family because Valentine's Day is about celebrating love. And there's not just one type of love. It's not only about the romantic love. It can be about all the other types of love 
and the platonic loves that you have in your life. So with your friends, with your family, for yourself. I think it's a shame that we marketed Valentine's Day as the holiday for couples and for people in a relationship because that's not what it should be about. It should really be about just embracing and celebrating the love all around. That's my opinion. And also, I do find it unfortunate that this is the one day we decide to celebrate love because love is all year round. It's not more intense on that one day. Although some people would say otherwise because some people I know kind of feel obligated to celebrate their love and to tell their partner how they feel about them or show them how they feel about them. But it should be a daily thing. You know, it doesn't have to be big but it's about the small little gestures and the small little daily reminders that you're grateful to have one another with your family as well and with your friends love should be spread all year round and celebrated all year round and vocalized all year round i used to be so scared to tell people i love them and now i am almost annoying with it and i tell my friends i love them all the time but it's It's true because we should never take it for granted because I have taken love for granted for so many years with my family, with my friends. um, And I was just so scared to be so vulnerable and tell them I love them because I was afraid it would make me look and sound weak. But it's not. It's not. Love is beautiful. And this brings me back to self-love. If you asked me, I'd say that self-love should be a daily thing and it should you shouldn't wait for valentine's day to treat yourself right and to show yourself some love um but if anything you can start there you can start on valentine's day and see how you feel and then try and recreate that at other times in the year maybe monthly maybe weekly maybe daily and see how you feel because i cannot stress this enough but you're the only person you're stuck with for the rest of your life and I know that sounds kind of like defeated it sounds like I'm I'm defeated and I'm gonna die alone um but if I do at least I'm gonna be with someone I like which is myself and I realize that this sounds very almost self-absorbed but no this is not what this is about this is about caring for yourself and showing yourself some love and just treating yourself right and treating yourself the way that you want others to treat you and that is attractive like that i think is the key to just being happy because you're not waiting for anybody else to make you happy you're enjoying your life as it is and you're making it what you want it to be and you're not waiting for some external factor which can be a person to make you feel complete and happy And this is what Valentine's Day as a single person should be. Because if you wanted to, you could just sit there and be sad about being single on Valentine's Day and feel pathetic and feel like an outcast and watching all these couples being happy lovey-dovey. Or you could be happy that you're with yourself and enjoying yourself and making the most out of this day. And if if you don't want to go out on Valentine's Day because there's going to be too many couples around you and you don't want to see them, you could just celebrate it a couple of days before or a couple of days after or just celebrate it all year round honestly valentine's day should be a valentine's year (laughs) yeah don't quote me on that i mean you you can if you want to but um yeah and it's funny because even as a kid or as a teenager i felt like an outsider when valentine's day came around because i was single and i was like i felt like i don't know i just i didn't feel like i belonged (laughs) that day but it's also just a day like any other day it's just that one day that we take as a society to celebrate love but again i'm gonna be repeating myself here but love should be celebrated all the time every single time and love is beautiful and you shouldn't i used to as i said not hate valentine's day but i resented it like i was seeing february 14th approach and i was like oh here we go again but now i'm like valentine's day is around the corner it's amazing it's it's great even though i am single because i have come to just appreciate valentine's day for what it is for what it represents and now i just surround myself with people i love on valentine's day to just celebrate them and celebrate the friendship or the what's the word for someone you have like in your family that's a relationship 
I don't know. You tell me. I've never... Sisterhood? Like, that's with my sister. And then siblings? I don't know. Is there a word for that? Essentially, what I'm getting at is just take this opportunity to celebrate the love around you, the love for yourself. Go and take yourself out on a date. Go grab yourself some coffee, buy yourself some flowers, cook yourself a good dinner, light some candles, and just embrace yourself and embrace your life and embrace everything, honestly. (laughs) And this is what romanticizing your life is all about. It's taking those little simple things and just making them a little bit more interesting. Just light yourself some candles, put on some music, set yourself a vibe, get in the mood, make some cookies, bake a cake, or make some chocolate-covered strawberries and, and, and enjoy them. I don't know. Find what it is that makes you happy and do that daily if you have to. But if you would have to choose one day, I would suggest Valentine's Day. I know I'm being very repetitive here, but this is your opportunity to start your journey towards self-acceptance and self-love i know we're getting deep here but i don't know just think about your perfect day when do you get up what do you eat for breakfast what activities do you do make a list of what your perfect day would look like and do it do it and thank me later and if you're a valentine's day hater see this as a revenge And prove to others that you get to enjoy Valentine's Day even though you're single. Because everybody gets to enjoy Valentine's Day. It's it's not restricted to couples only. And whoever you are, you get to enjoy Valentine's Day. Just like all the other days of the year. Just like the 364 other days of the year. Well, actually this year there's going to be 366. But proving my point, here's one more day to actually enjoy yourself and practice self-love. Anyway, I love Valentine's Day. I love love and I can't wait to celebrate the love around me with my friends and make ourselves a little Galentine's Day. I'm actually really looking forward to that because I think it will be my first Galentine's Day and I'm excited. I'm excited to create some memories and to spread the love around us and just to celebrate our friendship and their love. I wonder how many times I've said the word love in this coffee talk. Anyway, I think this is my cue to wrap it up here. Thank you for watching or listening. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. I truly, truly, truly mean it. Hopefully, I have made a little difference in your day today. If you would like to make a difference in mine, you know what to do. I'm going to wish you a happy Valentine's Day and... In Bunjilni. <music>